What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, Jonathan here, aka Mini Superheroes Today, with a little bit of a different video. What you're looking at here is the Empire Strikes Back version of the Kenner Darth Vader case. Now, this is full of vintage Star Wars figures. This popped up for $150 for everything you're about to see on Facebook Marketplace. And I got into vintage Star Wars last year, so it's really exciting to get so many new figures for my collection. And let's open up the head and show you what all is inside. And as we get this opened up, I do want to say in advance that I'll be bringing some of these to ICCC in Nashville, which is a comic convention that is just amazing. It's really more of a collector's convention than a comic convention, but I'm really excited for that. And uh, yeah, if you need any of these and you want to come to the convention, if you tell me you're a subscriber to the channel and prove it to me, maybe I'll give you one for free. But yeah, anyways, let's open it up and see. It's pretty common that these would fall out, but yeah, there are some incredible figures in here and one of the coolest things is that it actually has the paper sheet inside so this was kind of like a uh, advertisement thing you know when you would get this back in the uh well this one came out in the 80s because it's empire but uh you know it would advertise all the figures that you could get and how they could be displayed in here so very very cool and the nice thing is a lot of these figures are actually in this hall Another cool thing is that we've got a sticker sheet here, so you can kind of put the stickers on there for the ones that, you know, you are going to put in. How amazing is that? Sticker sheet and all. Really cool. Let's start taking a look at the figures. All right, going in no particular order here, we've got an Imperial Guard, a Royal Guard. He looks amazing. And the thing about this figure that's cool is if you lift up his skirt, it's actually a very detailed figure underneath. It's kind of a shame, kind of like the Jawa. It's really a shame how much detail got covered up by these robes, but even with the robes, he looks pretty awesome. It's a little bit of a bummer that so few of these figures have their accessories. Like here, we've got the Gamorrean guard, but he's in really, really nice condition. Really nice. No chipping, really. Uh, just a little bit on his horns there, but that's relatively common. Probably the worst condition figure in here is this IG-88 who's missing a foot. Wonder what kind of adventure he was on back in the day that made him lose a foot. But somebody would probably want that for customs or something. Here we have 8D8, who has recently shown up in the Book of Boba Fett, and he's become a very uh, expensive figure. He's about $50 now as of this video, uh, you know, being recorded. So that's pretty cool. Here we've got a near-complete Bib Fortuna, and I say near-complete because he's missing his staff, but he's got everything else, you know, his cloak here, his chest armor. Uh, Bib Fortuna is not the best-looking guy in town, but this is a very cool figure regardless. Very good condition, too. Look at the paint on there. It just looks phenomenal. Here we've got a Tusken Raider Sand People. Um, nothing too particularly uh, unique about him. He is pretty beat up, but a good army builder, so this would be one of the ones I'll be taking to ICCC and, uh, you know, maybe using for some trade bait and all that. We've got two uh, Rebel Commandos, so these are like the... Uh, indoor versions. Of course, neither of them have their guns, but both of them are really, really clean and really, really nice. Great for army building. One of my favorite figures here is the original Princess Leia. So this would have been from A New Hope, obviously. Her cape is pretty crinkled, but otherwise she is a really, really nice figure. I love this one. I'm so glad this is in here. Now, I actually did not have this figure previously. This is FX7. He's the medical droid. I really love that. And we can go ahead and pull his arms out like this. Actually, I'm not going to pull them out because, you know, he's in really nice condition. So I'm just going to leave him as is. Don't want to take a chance at breaking anything, but yeah, what a great figure here. Here we have a much better IG-88. I guess that the guy that owned these, he did tell me these were his originals from when he was a kid, but I guess when the other one's foot broke, he got this one, and look at that beautiful paint application. Really, really amazing shape. Another figure that I'm very, very excited about is the Farm Boy Luke figure. Now, he's got some discoloration to his torso there. I don't know how well that translates to video. He's missing his lightsaber, but this is a figure I didn't have yet, and he's going for crazy money these days, too. His head's a little loose, so, you know, he's not mint condition, but, I mean, that's just crazy. What a piece of history. The first ever Luke Skywalker. Amazing. Now, I'm terrible with the Ewok names, so I don't know which Ewok this is. I'm sure somebody in the comments can let me know. But whichever one it is, uh, it might be Chief Chirpa. I, I don't know. I don't know the Ewok names. But uh, this headpiece could come off, so it's pretty common to find him missing the headpiece in his little satchel. 
I think he had like a staff too, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful condition figure. Really nice. Here we've got another Ewok. Like I said, I don't really know their names. Interestingly, this is one of the uh, ones that's in worse condition. You know, a lot of this should have painting on it and really doesn't, but still nice. What I'm going to do is I have a nicer version of this Ewok. I'll go ahead and take this headdress off and put it on the nicer one and then uh, trade this figure here. So keep that in mind if you're coming to ICCC in Nashville and you know, you want to trade with me, maybe hit me up on Instagram or something first. Really nice hammerhead here. Really, really solid. His legs kind of look like Groot's legs, don't they? <laughs> really, really nice figure. Here we've got a pretty nice Chewbacca. I don't think he's nicer than the one I already have, though, so he'll be going in the trade pile, so yeah. Uh, let's see, we've got several Pilot Luke Skywalkers. Now, if you're not familiar with the Kenner line, it's kind of interesting because in my opinion this doesn't really look like luke uh to me it looks like he has long black hair like with bangs uh that's just what it looks like to me though i don't know I, maybe they're like supposed to be his goggles or something but regardless they're all in kind of like different condition like this one has a beautiful helmet but he's scuffed up and this one's torso is really nice but he's got a discolored helmet so it's cool to get three of these though because you know, if you had like multiple X-Wings or multiple snow speeders, you could kind of put these guys in there since they do look a little generic so that you have pilots for all of your different Rebel ships. Let's see, here we've got a little Jawa, really cool. And remember I was saying it's kind of a shame that some of these had the cloth because if we kind of lift up the Jawa there, he's got great printing underneath. Looks like he's got something broken inside his leg there too, like inside his uh, foothole. But yeah, really nice Jawa, so that's always good to add to the collection. I'm just kind of grabbing them here at random, no real uh, order. Pretty beat up R2-D2, he's going to go in my trade pile. Um, you know, his head clicks when you twist it, that's cool. But yeah, overall, pretty nice figure there. Here we've got a Bosque. Unfortunately, he is not better than the Bosque I already have, so he's going to be a trade pal figure, but I always thought Bosque looked like a really cool figure. Got a Walrus Man here. Uh, not better than the one I already have, though, so off to the trade pile, but still pretty cool. Uh, got a lot of variety in this haul. We got a Death Squad Commander here. I may keep him just because he's a good army builder, but I do have him already. Here we have Zuckus or Forlom, depending on what era of Star Wars you grew up with. Really nice figure, and I've seen to not find very many of these that are in bad condition. Maybe his paint application was just really good, but uh, yeah, really nice figure there. Here we have the uh, Skiff Disguise Lando. Unfortunately, missing his helmet and, you know, his accessories, but still really nice condition. Otherwise, I'm going to have to check and see if he's nicer than the one I already have. Offhand, I don't really know. We actually have two C-3PO's here. Now, let's see. This one is the uh, Solid Limb C-3PO. So this is the original one from 1977 from the Star Wars card back uh, because his limbs don't come apart. And this one is the removable limb C-3PO. So you could take his limbs off and then there was a backpack that was available that you could put all the parts in and put him on Chewbacca's back. Unfortunately, that backpack is not here with this collection, uh, but they're really not expensive to get because they're... It's a pretty common piece, but pretty awesome to get both versions of C-3PO. Previously, I only had the uh, regular limb version, so that's nice. Speaking of things that are nice, we have a very nice R2-D2 here. Really, the only issue is he's got a little sticker scuff right here and on the back. Uh, he is a little discolored, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this one because uh, I didn't have this version of R2 yet. This is the first version of R2 without the sensor scope or the uh, pop-up lightsaber. So yeah, there's still lots of figures to go here, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and show you this one. Here we have Master Yoda. I love this figure. He's missing his belt with the little accessory. He's missing his cane, but he does have his snake, which is a pretty rare piece in and of itself. And he has his cloak. So this is really cool. I tend to like the uh, darker green Yoda, so I may keep this one until I can trade him for the darker green Yoda, but it does look really, really nice. Here we have R5-D4, really cool figure here. Uh, I don't think I have him. I honestly don't remember, but this one's pretty nice. Little discoloration to the sticker there, but overall a very, very nice figure. Here we have Darth Vader. This is definitely nicer than my Darth Vader's that I have now. Uh, the Kenner Darth Vader is interesting in that he is one of the only figures that never was changed or updated. So basically, if you got one Darth Vader at the start of the run or the end of the run, which was from 1977 to 1985, 
pretty much the same across the board, but this one's really nice, so I'm gonna keep him. Here we have Ben Kenobi, a really nice Ben. He's not scuffed up or anything. Uh, his cape is just a little bit torn, and he's missing his lightsaber, but for the most part, a really, really nice figure. Again, I'm gonna have to check if he's nicer than the one I already have offhand. I just don't know. Here we have the uh, Leia in her Boosh disguise. Unfortunately, no accessories, but um, still a really nice figure. Unfortunately, she does have a little bit of checking going on in her hair there, so uh, this will probably go in my trade pile because I'm pretty sure the one I have is nicer than this. Here we have the uh, Imperial Stormtrooper Hoth, but as I call him because I grew up with this as a snowtrooper, I'm just going to call him the snowtrooper. He's got a really nice waist cape. He is a little yellowed on his arms and all that, but by and large, a really, really nice figure. Here we've got the Death Star droid. Now he is pretty scuffed up. You know, you can see that uh, his chrome is kind of wearing off at his joints there, but I don't have this figure yet. So even though he's not in great condition, I'm gonna hold on to him until I can get one in better shape. Here's a figure I'm really excited about. This is Han Solo. Uh, this is the original Han Solo from uh, New Hope, and this is called Big Head Han. Uh, my friend Michael told me that they went ahead and made him big head because they wanted him, I guess, to be taller than Luke. Uh, my Luke is, let's see, he's right here. So you see, if you put them side by side, it sort of makes them the same size. I don't know. Uh, Michael just mentioned at one point that uh, they were trying to make Han larger or something, and uh, maybe I got the story wrong. Who knows? But still a very cool uh, figure, and it's nice to get all the main characters out of this. Here we have the Hoth Rebel Trooper. Very, very cool. Uh, really nice figure. And then, last but not least, the coolest figure of them all is Boba Fett. Now, this one is in really nice shape. He's just got a little bit of, uh, you know, miscolored paint there. I don't know if that's like a misprint paint. Honestly, I'm going to have to ask my friend Michael Havens, who runs the Imperial Commissary on Facebook, uh, his opinion on this. But overall, it's a very nice Fett. However, with the paint on there kind of being misaligned and all that, it's not as good as the Fett I already have, so he will be in the trade pile. Thanks for hanging out with me and checking out this haul. I really appreciate it. It's a little different than what I do here on the channel, but if you liked it, be sure to hit like and subscribe to hang out for the Lego content I put out here. And yeah, if you're going to be at ICCC in Nashville, let me know if you're looking for any of these. I'm always happy to trade, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So thanks so much for hanging out. I'll catch you guys next time, and until then, build on. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.